Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome back to another video. Now, it had been a fairly quiet day on the Liverpool front up until a couple of hours ago when the story that I'm about to talk about right now broke. Now, the day really had been dominated by news regarding Cristiano Ronaldo and his move to Juventus, which seems to be gathering pace. Guillain Balaguer said earlier that in Ronaldo's head, he was a Juventus player. Um, so, you know, personal terms probably would have been agreed there and it seems like a, a fee is the only thing that needs to be uh, finalised. It looks like that is actually going to happen which is really gonna uh, change things up a bit and maybe start a bit of a merry-go-round of which Liverpool could be involved in uh, according to Football Italia um, who have cited who have cited Toto Mercato Webb and are saying that Liverpool will have asked Juventus uh, about Paolo Dybala um, obviously this Ronaldo stuff isn't gonna fund itself from Juventus point of view um, and if they do sign Ronaldo then yep they might have to get rid of this uh, other style they've got Dybala in order to pave the way for the Portuguese. Um, now, the talk has been that we've not, we're not going not gonna to sign a striker. Whether you see the Barlow as a striker or as an attacking midfielder or as a wide player, I mean, he can, he can fill all those roles in the front four, which is why maybe um, two and two have been put together and this story has come of it. Um, you know, Dybala has played a lot of games in that attacking midfield role, so, you know, obviously the Fakir position, maybe he is someone for Liverpool to consider. It would make sense, but... I just get the feeling wages, uh, the fee is going to be absolutely humongous, much bigger than the, the 50 or 60 million that we would have, would have paid for Fakir. Um, but, you know, Dybala would be an absolute monster. I mean, 22 goals in 33 Serie A games last season. Um, couldn't really force his way into the Argentina side of the World Cup, but let, don't let that get in, in the way of uh, the awesome stats that he's been putting together for the last few years. I mean, as I say, 22 goals and 5 assists in the league last season, 11 goals and 7 assists the season before that, um, injury the season before that, but in 15-16 it was 19 goals and 9 assists. Um, he was a great at Palermo before as well, so he's been great for 5 or 6 years consistently scoring goals and playing uh, absolute elite level football. Um, it's a bit of a mystery why he's not really been picked for Argentina in recent years. But, I mean, what do you think about this rumour? Do you think there's any substance to it? I'm doubting it at the moment. Um, it feels like one of these that James Pierce is just going to come out and shoot down in, the, in a few hours' time or a few days' time. Um, but, I mean, on paper, it makes, it makes sense and it is a dream, dream signing if, uh, if it ever came to it. And who knows, maybe the fact that we're not going to buy a goalkeeper, funds can be put elsewhere and funds can be put into the other positions that we're looking to strengthen, one of which is in that attacking midfield slash wing slash forward role, uh, all of which Dybala could fill. We know Jurgen Klopp would like that profile of player. He's the perfect age uh, for a Liverpool signing in this day and age, so... Who knows? We can dream. We can dream. That is the only rumour of the day. So as I say, leave a comment with your thoughts on it. Could it be legitimate? I hope so because, well, that would be an incredible front line if Paolo Dybala um, does make the switch to Liverpool. Um, you know, it does seem like the goalkeeper situation is going to stay at the moment with Loris Karius. Um, so, yeah, who knows what else we've got left. I'm sure there's going to be still transfers. Liverpool will not look to only bring in a couple of players that, that we have done. Um, there is other areas that do need to be addressed. We need that depth, especially of Oxlade Chamberlain's injury. Um, so yeah, there you go. And the, the the strain that was put on Mane, Salah and Firmino last season was a bit too much for them, I'm sure. And uh, maybe that showed a bit towards the end. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. As I say, leave a comment with your thoughts and stay tuned. For more transfer videos, I'm going to do a Chester vs Liverpool preview tomorrow ahead of Saturday's game. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook and I'll see you next time.